What is going on guys? Broken Machine here. Hope you're all doing good today. In this video, I'm bringing you guys a short tips video to help you get the most out of the beta, hopefully get better at the game as well, unlock more stuff, stop dying so much, and how to call in that beautiful V1 rocket. Battlefield 5 is a bit of a different beast to previous titles in the series, but if you play smart, you'll have a much better time. I'd highly recommend you do try and play in a squad in this one, definitely makes the game a little easier. First things first, get your settings sorted, it will take you 10 minutes to set up properly, not very long, check out my video in the annotations and in the description for all of that. Secondly, we got to form some new habits. Every time you spawn, you want to head over to one of these resupply stations and get yourself a medic pouch. If you get caught off guard and are low on health, you can heal yourself with one of these by holding up on the d-pad. If you're on PC, check out the settings for which buttons you need to press there. It's paramount that you get used to where these resupply stations are. They can help you move around the map much more easily and if you get stuck without ammo, you'll know quickly where one will be. You don't start off with a lot of ammo in this game, so do make sure you get yourself some before running off into the battlefield. If you're new to the beta, or just not playing too well in general, I'd recommend sticking either with the Assault or Medic class to begin with. The STG on the Assault class is by far one of the best weapons in the beta. The Medic has some pretty good options too, mainly for close quarter engagements, so don't be shooting at too long range with those, and you also have the ability to heal yourselves, so do recommend going with the Medic class. Do make sure you are upgrading your weapons through the menu here. If you need any extra credits to unlock stuff, just head over here, choose an assignment, complete that, and you'll have enough in no time at all. As you progress through the game, do make sure you check out new attachments for your weapons. You can unlock some more here if you need them. Once you have unlocked them, just go to the main menu here, click your class, click customize, and boom, you've got them all there. The support class has some pretty good weapons as well. It does however suit a more defensive role that one. I'd say the same for the sniper class as well. If you're just getting used to the game, I'd recommend avoiding the sniper class. Now you've got to get that simple habit of grabbing a medic pouch, ammo and knowing where the resupply stations are into your playstyle as soon as possible. It's really going to help you out. Now I guess for most of you, that's not what you're struggling with. You're probably finding yourself dying a lot in random places, not feeling the flow of the game perhaps, maybe feeling like you keep making mistakes. You gotta switch up your playstyle a lot in this game. You don't have to be too defensive, you can be aggressive, you just gotta get a feel for what's going on around you. My advice is to check open spaces as much as possible. Avoid running out in them if you can. If you watch my gameplay, you'll notice I often peek out of alleyways and such before moving out. Definitely recommend you do that as well. Also, flank as much as possible. That's where you go around the outside of a flag or building and try to get behind the enemy. But what I see a lot of people making mistakes with is they are committing to plays far too often. What do I mean by that? Well, when you see an enemy and you go straight for them, no, 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 no. You don't have to go and take down the enemy straight away. If you see an enemy, look around you. If it's too open, don't rush out for them. Can you make a smarter move? Keep that in mind as much as possible. Same for when you take down an enemy as well. Don't go rushing for their body or anywhere near. I've noticed players are often nearby, so if you do take down an enemy, avoid running over their body or anywhere near if you can. Not always possible of course, but try it. As soon as you get the kill, don't just rush and quickly push the area. Do try it. Not committing to plays is also important when out in the open. Don't keep pushing the open areas all the time. Now you'll be capturing lots of flags of course, as you do, keep an eye on this icon up here and use it to determine how many enemies may be on the flag. If it's half blue, half red, there are even numbers on the flag. If it's just you there, you've only got one opponent to deal with. A very simple tool, but very effective. Do use it when you're on the flag and uh, use it to help you make better decisions. Also, when it comes to flags, remember enemies will spawn on the outside of the opposite side of the flag. So in general, if you spawn on this side of the map, enemies will spawn outside of the flags if they still own it on this side of the map. 
keep that in mind. Also, try and flank the flags that's going around the back, and do ensure you don't commit to capturing the flag on the first go. There are plenty of escape routes on the flags, should you need them. Also, again, avoid pushing the enemy spawn side of the flags. Not usually a good idea. And also, when it comes to flags in general, try to avoid going for flags that are just too open. Unless you have a squad, of course. If you're on your own, you're probably going to have a tough time. Outnumbered, outgunned, low on ammo, heals, whatever it may be, don't be afraid to fall back and find a different angle. Most of my good plays on these maps and my high scores are when I avoid getting into gunfights all the time. You know, if you're on a flag and it's too tough, you're too many opponents, whatever it may be, don't hesitate, just jump off the flag, come back another time. Also, when you are taking a flag, do remember the enemies could still spawn on the outside of the flag. You're not completely safe until it turns blue. Even then, there could still be enemies on the uh, on their side of the map. So do keep that in mind. As you cap the flag, be ready for them to come in. Now, I'd highly recommend you do use fortifications to your advantage. You don't want to get caught building, of course, but do try and put some up at the start of the game when no enemies will be present. And if you are going to place them later on, try and get into a good position that doesn't leave you vulnerable. They are fixed placements, but you don't have to stand perfectly in the center of them. Keep that in mind. Playstyle wise, like before, don't run out in the open, check your corners, crouch running is incredibly effective. Highly recommend you use that to navigate the map, especially in the open areas. Also, you can hang off ledges, just like that. I'm sure you can figure out ways you could use that to your advantage. Headshots are massive in this game, don't be afraid to take your time and go for them. Standing still I believe does net an accuracy bonus like previous titles, so do go for headshots if you can. Lots of head glitch kind of spots on the map, I don't like that word, not quite a head glitch, but do use them to your advantage. One really good tip is to try and let the enemies give away their position first as much as possible. You may be tempted to just rush and be aggressive, that can work, but often the best way is to let your enemies fall into a trap. Remember, never interrupt your enemy while they're making a mistake. I'm not saying be campy or too defensive, you just got to get a feel for when it's not your fight and when you've got to make smarter decisions. Now, one last thing, you can bring up the Comoros with R1 on PS4, right trigger I believe on Xbox and Q on PC. If you hold that and select request squad orders, you may get the squad leader role. Get this, bring up the comma rows again, tell your teammates to go to flags, and eventually you should get enough points to call in a V1 rocket. You can do this by holding both L2 and R2 on PS4, same on Xbox, PC I'm sure you can figure it out, and you can drop it wherever you like. On PS4 it is a little buggy, so hold them both, select your option here, let go of L2, and then let go of the rest, it should work like that. You can also make a new squad in the main menu, and you'll become a squad leader that way. Just get some buddies to join, otherwise you won't gain many points in time. And that's all I got for you today guys, lots more to discuss of course, but I hope this helps you guys out. Generally, you just want to make smarter decisions here, avoid open areas, and go for headshots. I hope you've enjoyed this guys, I hope it helps you out in the game. Do let me know if it does, and do drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I hate to be, uh, hate to be a bit cliche, but uh, it really helps me out. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this, drop a like if you did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.